everybody welcome back to another video so i haven't made a video in a while and i apologize for that yeah Mwah. did you make kitty this one's been so cuddly lately so today i'm going to be talking about biting and i've talked about this before and within a lot of videos but i think that there's been some confusion with when i say that your birds bite or especially when i talk about quakers <laughs> about quaker parrots when they bite people go to the most severe degree which is like you know skin open blood everywhere and that's not always the case kind of always different levels of biting and i wanted to talk about those let's just start with the lightest then we'll go to you know the most severe the lightest form of biting is usually an indication of hey i'm telling you nicely to move away back away i don't want to be approached Light biting as well, when I talk about Quakers that when they like to bite, it's usually light biting that they just kind of try and instigate, you know, playing or messing around. Light biting can also be them when all some birds like kikes, cakes, I don't know how to pronounce them, conyers, you know, when they like to roll on their back, you know, play wrestle, they might hold on to you and just kind of bite down a little bit lightly. All of that light biting is fine. It's all within contact. All within contacts it's all dependent on what's going on you know and the only thing is that when they kind of like bite and kind of push your finger away or tell you hey back off don't touch me just respect that boundaries that body language and just back away then there's medium biting this i would consider when they kind of graze off a bit of your skin or they leave an imprint that's kind of what i would consider medium biting now this kind of biting is probably like, hey, I'm kind of upset. Uh, I told you to kind of back off and you didn't. Or in the case of Quaker parrots or cakes, kikes, then it could be, hey, I'm overstimulated. I have way too much emotion going on and now I'm kind of getting aggressive. This kind of biting is kind of your pre-warning to the severe biting. And it is, hey, either calm them down, back off. You're doing something that they really don't like. Stop doing it. Or even sometimes it can be that they want their alone time, they want to be left alone because yeah, birds sometimes get tired even though they're very clingy. I noticed that some, some, some get kind of tired of being around you, kind of want to be left alone, just chill and that's completely fine. Sometimes mine kind of run me out of my room and it is my room, yes, but apparently I'm not allowed in. And yeah, so those are kind of the meanings of kind of like a medium bite. Now let's move on to severe. Severe bites is now to the point where they have broken the skin, there is blood, now, depending on the size of your bird, uh, this can either be an ouch, this can be a, you know, deep bite, and this can also be run to the ER because you probably have like a macaw or a cockatoo. Now, if you've gotten to this point of biting, you have done something wrong. Never is it the bird's fault. It is us failing to read their body language because like I've said in other videos, they are not domesticated creatures. They are wild and we try our absolute best to read their body language to adhere to their needs but you know we make mistakes we don't sometimes get it what they're trying to say and this probably means hey i've told you to back off multiple times i'm scared i see you as a threat anything like that that you've really pissed them off they will severely bite as their last resort this is i told you so back off i warned you this can even occur if they are not familiar or good with strangers people they don't know and you know they try and like, shove their hand in their face and they don't trust them at all they see them as a threat and they just tear open their skin so do be careful do try and adhere to their body language if they're telling you to back off back off don't just shove them in the face of strangers or people they don't know they are very mistrusting there are some that are very good with new people but there are others that just you know kind of aren't when we talk about ways that you can get your bird to stop biting the simplest form is kind of what i talked about learning their body language learning to respect their space if they are the species the two species that i mentioned quakers and cakes i'm just gonna say cake, like a birthday cake who get overly stimulated just try and calm them down and leave them alone for a bit until their emotions calm down there really isn't a reason why a bird will bite you for no reason if you think that there's no reason there's probably a reason we just kind of fail to realize what it is or understand what it is so please be patient with your bird if you are miscaring for them neglecting them not giving them proper care that they need the proper attention 
or they are not bonded to you and do not trust you, that is another reason that they will bite. And that means that you have to put in more effort, more money, more needs to what they need a proper cage a proper diet even improper diet can cause them to become aggressive not getting enough sunlight or even too much sunlight can cause them to get aggressive you need to keep them on a strict bedtime of at least 12 hours to 14 hours of sleep if you are doing anything less they can get cranky they can get aggressive if there is too much going on in their environment screaming hopefully not hitting anything too much loud sounds going on then they're gonna get scared and they are gonna get aggressive just pay attention to what you are doing and do not blame the bird and just put it oh my my bird is aggressive i don't understand they're just you know they don't trust me you have to put in that effort you have to put in that time that money in order to care for them properly if you don't want them to end up biting now, this doesn't mean you're never going to get bitten. You just want to decrease the frequency and severity of those bites. That would probably be your goal. Like I've said before, birds are not easy pets to have. I don't even recommend them ever as pets. But if you already do have them and I can't stop you from getting one, if you do want one, the best thing you can do is just understand them do your research and take that time now if you guys need to know more about body language i do have a video on that in my channel i'll be linking it at the end of this video and as well if you are struggling with bonding taming gaining your birds trust i as well have a video on that and it will also be at the end of this video i hope this helped if you guys have any questions please leave them down below make sure to like and hit subscribe if you guys want to see more of us make sure to check out our social media links and we have them down below as well as our etsy shop and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Bye 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 bye